Mother Nature doing her part once again, Carlene, with all that rain and wind. I'm sure a lot of people didn't mind staying inside today. No, not at all. That was just her effort to get us to stay inside. So she definitely wanted to make sure that we were being conscious, conscious out there. So let's go ahead and take a look at how we shaped up because I've got some great news, especially talking about the rainfall. When you're comparing average to the actual rainfall that we have received, we were starting to see that shrink, especially with that uh, surplus. It was there, but it wasn't as big of a gap. Now we're talking being close to an inch and a half above average at 1.49 inches with the recent rainfall that we have seen we've seen over the past three days more than an inch for downtown downtown today had a high of 65 degrees a couple degrees below average we're going to widen that gap by tomorrow taking a live look over the harbor shaky cam because we do have the gusts picking up and so also wind speeds sustained wind speeds picking up too so 24 miles per hour out of the south for downtown with those passing clouds as well as 63 degrees current temperature relative humidity is at 75 percent we have wind speeds picking up across the county not as strong but still a breeze for carlsbad the same for oceanside 12 miles per hour for ramona at 10 currently for julian sill hill is at 17 miles per hour the gusts at 30 miles per hour for downtown as well as in the 20s for campo still the same with 20s for carlsbad del mar teens currently for escondido 15 miles per hour for poway and at 18 miles per hour for chula vista so here's a setup when you have a system, an upper level low that's over us, we are still dealing with instability. And so now seeing some of that sunshine could give way with heating, that could lead to a few thunderstorms. Those will stay possible for tonight and then yet again tomorrow afternoon into the evening hours. Also with tomorrow, we will have that storm system sitting over us. So that's gonna make the snow level drop to about 4,500 feet. We could see an upwards of five inches of snow, Mount Laguna, Palomar Mountain, and then colder temperatures temperatures for tomorrow. A chance for showers will linger in our forecast all the way through Friday. At the surface, we also have a wrinkle in the atmosphere area of low pressure that is pumping a lot of rain and mountain snow across Southern California. That will continue all the way into tomorrow taking a look at our setup with our eight day. So we're looking at a chance for thunderstorms by tomorrow with the heating of the day, still keeping rain in the forecast, but it will be more light to moderate for Thursday as well as for Friday. We dry out by the weekend on Easter Sunday and we warm up by next week with a ridge of high pressure moving in, even back into the 70s for the coast for daytime highs by next week. Also warming up for the mountains and desert once we get past this rain next couple of days. Back to you.